Harlathon Forest. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Yeah, what are they doing? Let's take a look around and see if we can find any. Who? What? Oh, Golem? Old. Old. He's the uh, Daylight. I didn't notice any. Uh... Fallacy. Shut it down. I'm trying. They do. They do. It's not working. I can't contain it. Oh no. Oh, they were trying to control it. The city elf that came to the daily strife, maybe? Irlin. It's me, Lace Harding. Strife, near Harding. What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. Okay, they are veil jumpers. I'm Good sorry, enough. Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. Hmm. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. Don't blame me. What the hell? Didn't see you volunteering. We put our lives on the line to stop Solus, and we stopped him. And we've got the scars to prove it. Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arlet the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual. Yeah, he's been uh, but reverse carded else got out. by those two Someone elven gods. else, supposedly. Elgernon and Gilanane. Mithalanest. Two of the elven Not gods of old, the Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. Uh, I don't really know what any of these are going to say exactly. <laughs> what about the gods? So what's next? Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, so they let's know just say that they weren't known for being kind rulers. So they know. There's a reason Solus okay. led the rebellion against the Avenuris. Again, they. And a reason make sense. he imprisoned them. But now but they've escaped. Varric and Harding already know them. Tarith is in bad shape. I do not think this would we be the normal the <laughs> Dalish reaction. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Lute. She's Belara. the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Belara. Harding, hope the veil jumper. I'm, she's gonna be pissed if I say they're those two, and you know she can still help. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Irlin, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the veil jumpers here. They need you. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Since they you gotta know how to how to talk to we'll your, meet you back your at team. The veil jumper camp. Oh, your players. It's just south of here. Belara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you.
Harlefen Forest, Elven Ruin. Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. Okay, that's the exploding arrow. Cool, cool. Is moving. Oh, hello. Got company. Okay, it's blue that right here. Right? Why? In yellow. Oh, for the pair. Oh, hello. And this would be the model. Gotcha. That's cool. Whatever that is. It's got lots of trinkets on it. Well, we found her pretty quick. Where'd you come from? Bellara? Bellara Luter? Strife and Irulan sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. What class is she? Wait! I know that name! But... Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. The worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elgernon and Gilanain have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is I love her already. very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. I feel like this could have been Meryl if she was allowed to flourish like she deserved to. Instead of every single person doubting her. Um... Let's get down to business. Like I said, end of the world. You can mull it over later. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Okay. Can you bring it down? Strife and Irulan said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something okay. powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then. Let's get going. So is she a mage? I don't I don't know. What is she? Alara has joined the party. Okay, no, she's a uh archer too. Okay. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. Odd to find a camp this far out. We've got camps all over Arlathan. The bail jumpers do, I mean. Never really know when or where the magic's gonna start going wild. So, Veil Jumpers, are they made up of almost exclusively elves or like Dalish? Are they from like multiple different 
like uh camps of Dalish elves or just one tribe or I don't quite know how they work. It also increase the strength uh allies. Okay, good to know about valuables. How do they increase the strength of my allies? What does that mean? Okay. Hello, bunny. Oh, okay, just stuck in the ground. I thought... I didn't know what the hell just happened to it. Uh, rosemary, valuable item. Cool. No, I kind of don't want to, but I also have to see if I can shoot one of these rabbits. <laughs> that I see. Um, let me save really quick, too. Okay. Collect heartwood. Five heartwood. Common material. Don't know what that's used for. Crafting of some kind, probably. A cool looking temple. First thing that comes to mind is the uh the temple that's, that's the like edge of the bubble. Can't pass through it. We need to shut down the artifact first. It's like an act 1.5 of Baldur's Gate 3, if you know what I'm talking about, with our where all the Githyanki are at. That is that temple is too, even though I did the whole puzzle, I don't even remember. That game came out like two years ago now, which is crazy to think about, but like a year and a half. Whoa, what's going on in there? Five flawless crystal, more. All right. What am I looking at here? Is that water just swirling into the air? We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. This fish. All right. The level design is already like really cool and much better than I would say than Inquisition. And moving around feels a lot better than Inquisition. Again, I, I love Inquisition, but you know that game has flaws that you know everyone's aware of. <laughs> How do I get? I could probably just go through the water, but. Okay. Hold. Climb up. Jump up. Read that. Barely legible note. Construct broke my leg. Veridon took a blade to the gut. We can only hear them above us on the bridge. Once they leave, we'll make a break for it. They can't wait for us forever, right? Well... You know, they're constructs, so if anything could wait for you forever, uh, <laughs> probably would be artificial beings. Nug meat. Oh, nugs! We gotta find some nugs. So, there being nug meat implies to me that I can't shoot the animal. Are these nugs? I just realized. Are nugs like, uh. You know, I, I've thought about this. Are nugs like protected uh holy animals now if <laughs> if Liliana's divine I think she would do that jump off which means this is a sacrilegious uh sin that I am committing <laughs> by by trying to hunt nugs blacksmith tool Around we go. Look. 
Don't run from me. Oh. Oh, there's everyone else's skills too, I can see. Okay. That's cool if you hold on to that for too long. I see, I see. What happens if I try and do it right now? Oh. I don't know what that is. Got it covered. Whoa, she can stop time. Whoa, that's slow time. That's cool as hell. That was like a, that's a big ability in Inquisition. That's like one of those expensive meter ones, right? Chess piece, valuable item. Doesn't look like a chess piece to me, but I'll believe you. Oh no, these are demons. Let's deal with them. These right be the select a companion's ability. Each companion has their own special ability that can be selected from the ability. Okay. Replenish. Oh, she's a healer. Healers are back in Dragon Age. Let's go. Icebreaker. Fire six uh, projectiles. Okay. For this. Sunders them. It detonates Sunder. Okay, I see. Time slow. Reduces the uh, movement of enemies. So that sounds like it's going to be very useful. Replenish. What is it? Bolt containers. Okay. Fade bolts. Detonate Sunder. Instantly restores health. Uh, use fade bolts on the guy. Kill. a lot to keep track of in the middle of the fight, actually, which is nice to see. But so far, it doesn't seem too hard on Nightmare. Seems reasonable. Okay. And I leveled up. Let's see. I was reading something on the left. So do I only... Am I only able to change rooks? Resources. Okay. My inventory. Valuables. I don't know what to do with these. Uh, I did get a skill point. Passive. Aim precision. What's precision? The next charged or final attack on an enemy will be a critical. Oh, that sounds cool. Okay, which ability do I want to go for? Pilfer. Control tool. Uh, physical detonates overwhelmed. Add insult to injury by swiping a potion when you slice up an enemy. That sounds fun. And this is Hurricane of Blades. Nearby enemies are hit up to four times. The final strike deals more damage. Okay, so that sounds very cool as well, but I probably, the potion sounds more useful. But I do want to go into Antiva Crow. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, you get different attack chains, okay. around a bit. Okay, 
traps. I remember all those traps. As much as I want to go burst, since I'm playing a nightmare that kind of makes me want to go more sustain, just not, so I'm allowed more mistakes. You know, kind of thing. Since I will be messing up. Like some of these, like, while at low health, gain deflect whenever you perfect dodge or perform perfect defense in response to an attack. Like, that sounds useful. I don't know what the collect stack is. Think of tricks. You have low health tool ability. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the potions first. I can always refund, right, in this game, but it's not really too committal. Respect. Any idea of what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. Ooh. You're pretty, very pretty. Love that opening animation. I don't animation. usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Uh, common light armor, plus fifty percent arrow regeneration, plus fifteen percent weapon damage. But why is it locked? What does that mean? <laughs> These layered leathers have cooling. Gaps for long stretches of high activity while maintaining full flexibility and coverage. Better defense, more ability damage, so probably just going to equip it. This is the little icon at the top underneath item found. Um, say that's like four veil jumpers. Is that maybe why I'm not able to use it? If I was a veil jumper, would I get those bonuses? Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. Here. Why do I not look any different? Oh, because the appearance off was on? Why was it on? I changed my armor. Okay. We are now wearing veil jumper armor. That's fine. That's cool. Do you know what this place was? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. That they made armor for dwarves. Well, isn't this a sight? Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. What the? Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. Why would there be an armory this far out? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. They know a lot about ancient elves. <laughs> well, and I guess if they're trudging around Arlathan and dealing with dangerous artifacts, they probably would be. Uh, they would probably be one of the factions in the world to know the most about elves besides like the Inquisition <laughs> and Morgan. Um, no way across. Think we can make the jump? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Ooh. Put this here. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Wow, 
Isn't that something? And very trespasser-like. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the Ring Temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Oh, oh I got a tinker. Lara can use this. Interesting. Keep, keep the tinkering up. Because we need to dodge. When there's an incoming melee attack, dodge or defend to wait. Oh, there's my I finally noticed where my momentum is. So you need to stop this one. Stop. I dodged that. Doesn't matter what direction I dodge. Oh, I didn't. Get that. Stop. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was behind the box. Got all of them dead. Oh, no. Made it through that one. Come on. Come on. Oh, that one. I'm moving. I keep accidentally double tapping. Why am I double tapping? Of the magic energy. Pat should be clear ahead. Button right button. Heal me. I guess I could have used trigger. Right. Last time I checked, I've read about you. You've gone after some powerful mages before, but Fen Harel? The real Fen Harel? And now Elganon and Gilanane, apparently. My actual gods are out there trying to end the world, and Nev Gallus is on the case. Am I barefoot? I just. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just now notice. This armor not have feet? Is that what it is? I have boots? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Empty amulets. Huh. Huh. Didn't know amulets were a thing. Okay. Big old dwarf feet. Oh, I got her. Again. That just looks sick. Someone met a bad end here. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. 
They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. Hmm. Weather stained note. We have found the usurper's archive spirit. It is not the dread wolf's creation as we surmise. surmised, but another's. You could guess whose. Removing it could be risky, but leaving it equally so. I will await your orders, Lord Elgernon. Captain Captain Harold. Again, just need to keep working on the muscle memory. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Anything here that can help you piece together what exactly that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. What artifact? Stop being vague. Oh, I see. Whichever one this is in. Also, did I just like, was I just slipping under that guy's strange like sweep attack? Because I tried to parry him, but I just kind of was under it and it didn't hit me anyways. <laughs> A lot of them here. I want to get in here. Come alive on me. I know you want to. Oh, I got hit in the back, I think. Oh, I dodged that! I don't know if I had an so I didn't get killed there or not. So, the heavy attack seems to sky At one point, it did seem like I was about to be hit, but I was also in the middle of using the skill, so I don't know if I gave any iframes. Maybe? I'm not sure. I maybe it just missed. I'm not sure how like, the hitbox registration and everything works on this game. So it feels like there's a room to the right here, and I don't know how to get in there. Yeah, through here. Although it doesn't really look as much. In here. Onwards. So if this is an armory, what sort of artifact are we finding? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Okay, interesting. What? What the? What they look like now? That's terrifying. Mythalinast. 
it is Dark Spawn. Dark Spawn look terrifying now. What the hell? There's more like goblins at home and they're all over me. Oh, I can hit like Darkspawn. them in a group like that. Here. I never would have believed it. Until today. What are they called again? Herlocks or something like that, right? I knew they started with an H and my mind kept going to the what you're old person. Um Yeah, that's what you mean. Why are there dark spawn here? <laughs> that's concerning. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic disappears. Got your back. I'm just straight up handling it. Well, I'm a dwarf, so I guess that's fine. But if you're not a dwarf, that's concerning. Never been anything in these boxes, but you never know. A need for dis destruction. Right. Tinker. What the? Launched himself out of here. Hey, behind you. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. Could the Elven Gods be commanding the Dark Spawn? Solus did say they were blighted. You saw those Dark Spawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them. Once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Yeah. I mean, they normally are controlled by the elven, right? There is one. I don't know how lighted elven gods are like that. Um. There was something actually in that corner behind all those things. Now I have to I'm just right. Going to assume those explode. I have something explosive. And the ballista. No dark spawn. Oh. Right where you broke that wall. Guys, move. Tart section. Mix it up a bit. And 
Another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Fingers crossed. Ooh, that looks like life. <laughs> like that. You gross. And Dark Spawn looks goofy as hell in Inquisition 2. <laughs> in Inquisition and 2. I feel like they're kind of unsettling. Now they're very gross. Oh, nope. Uh, wrong button. like that. I this guy. Easy enough. All right, having healer will be very nice. And that kind of lessen the amount that I will feel the need to get potions. In. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is? I mean, it's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Okay. Is elven magic very? Well, ancient elven magic, how is it different than modern day magic? I don't know. The logistics of that probably is different, but I don't know. Get up there. Ooh. Okay, I didn't make that jump. I was really worried I wasn't going to. jump around and explore around here. Why are there so many floating islands? Stench of decay fills the air. The Evanaris now wield power beyond anything I've seen. The magic is fueled by corruption and death, and creeps even now into the stones. It cannot outlast the siege. Stones. Just leave the scroll there. I guess. Oh, that's how it's supposed to get here. <laughs> I see. But good to know I don't have to do the puzzle. <laughs> that really was a dumb jump I made. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. What? Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. Okay. Learn more about that. <gasps> Knowledge spirit. Of more constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Frenzy sent Back up. 
What the? Okay, this tires a line to the crack. Yeah, I think I got ice. Is going to need a second power crystal. So Once let's I go find one. Killed all the small guys. I didn't get hit by anything. All right, that felt pretty good. That was pretty nice. That was pretty free flowing. Bale's Edge, common short bow. Give me that. All right. Equip. I don't know why those are locked. I don't know what that means. How are the doors? Anything down there? Nope. We got constructs. We got um, dark spawn, and we got demons attacking us. It's great. Yeah, I guess if the elven gods can control all three things like that, that's probably not very good. What am I shooting this at? Oh. Search the area, then, then, there has to be another then one expose of those and destroy their weak points to clear the way forward. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. This wall? This wall? Oh, that wall. Destroy some light. That's good to know. All right, where's the other crystal? Here it is. Put this one here and go grab the other again. There we go. Thalin. I have so many questions for it. You're going to ask it questions? It's you have an a archive spirit. spirit. Yeah. You'll see. I feel like that's what purpose. <laughs> Blacksmith's tools. Who proofing steel? On broadsword. This one does not have any icon at the top, and they're still locked, so... I don't know. Proudly forged in Orzammar, what this practical practical blade lacks in finesse is more than offset by its balance and heft but there there's a stagger stat value i didn't even realize that okay that's good to know i should look at what the stats are they're like a combat like uh explanation details that i can read in the menu somewhere i don't know Okay, here it is. The Nodis Durthalin. 
So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Like I said, all three are attacking us, so... Let's be a little bit sarcastic Nothing's here. Nothing's ever easy, is it? So, what makes this tricky? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Ooh. The way the magic Ooh. is pulsing, I've never seen this before. Stuff like corruption. It's I almost have to like it's like a breathing. ogre or whatever they're called. I don't remember. What the hell? Ogre. Uh, it is That's an, an ogre. ogre. That's not quite what that looks like. I remember from Origins. Scary as hell. Okay. Okay. I couldn't, I was in a, the animation that looks kind of cool. Stop it, I'm in an animation. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me drink. I don't know what this dragging across the ground is. Ultimate ability. There's ultimates in this game. First, uh, left stick and right stick to use your ultimate ability. Build your ultimate gauge meter by damaging enemies once full. Press the thing to unleash a devastating ultimate ability. Let's go! Oh, that was sick as hell! Alright, give me that Dragon Age Origins uh, cutscene kill. At the top of the, the light tower or whatever. Or not. Or can just fall over. That's cool too. Well. Wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay, Ballara. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. She's so Meryl like. Kind there of we go. Meryl's my favorite Dragon Age 2, by the way. Okay. No, no, no. Never That's good. Time. I think. Oh. Ooh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then, 
I am the Nada Sterthal. Oh. Right. Um, I have questions. I am the Nada Sterthal. What do you? Oh. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd the spirit go? The Nada Sterthalan, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken. Dropped until it. Until I fix it. Okay. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Bruh, she should meet Meryl. I want her to meet Meryl so bad. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Okay, maybe there's some more to look around. Oh, there's that. Okay. Uh, yes. I think I might take this skill back. I'm not no longer quite feeling the need for potions. And there seems to be a good amount in the environment in between like combat encounters, so. Hit up to four times, final strike the Ulz Mord. Sounds good. Uh companions. Oh okay, so I can change them. Your bond with the companion has increased. Press Y to open your companion's skill screen to acquire new skills. Oh! Run it back. <laughs> I can make her my healer, maybe. I don't know if she would be the best healer or who's going to be healers. So she's got Galvanized Tear. Lara creates a controlled tear in the veil, concentrated on enemies but sparing allies. Draws enemies towards a point on the battlefield, then deals damage that, to those pulled close. Oh, okay, that's like a crowd control ability. That sounds useful. Time slow. Okay, so she also has time slow. An Arlethan Relic enables Bellara to conjure concentrated time anomalies on the battlefield. While active, these anomalies reduce... Uh-huh. Okay. Enfeebling shot. Fires a magic infused shot from her bow, dowsing her target in fade magic. So she can just like do fade magic, or is it like her bow has fade magic imbued powers, probably? Fade bolts. Lara channels the energy of the fade through a gauntlet to unleash. A oh, from her gauntlet. Oh, she's like Ezreal. Okay, I got it. Um, Applies shocked on hit. Hmm, mm hmm, hmm. I'm not sure. I probably would want to look at, like, all the other companions and figure out, like, my class designations for them as we go forward. Oh. Let's see, they got this thing down here. Continue Nev's story to unlock. Continue Harding's story to unlock. She got this. Ballara is an expert artificer who can unbind magical wards and repair de devices of ancient elven origin. Oh, so is it like a thing outside of combat that they can do? Alluvian expert? <laughs> I know an Alluvian expert. Or someone who lost almost every single person important to her over to her Alluvian <laughs> repair job. <laughs> Bro, how crazy would it be if Meryl came back? How crazy. They would do it for me and me alone, but I would uh, worship the ground Bioware rocks on actually, if, if they ever bring Meryl back. I love her. I love Meryl so much. Her and Hawk are so cute. Okay. Can I look at the skills of everyone else at least by now? Some of them. Adrenaline Rush. Harding gives a rousing shout, motivating you to act with renewed determination. Okay. Does everyone have the capacity to be healer? Is that what I'm seeing here? No. 
Nev does not have the capacity to be a heal healer. Achieve Hero of the Veil Guard status to unlock. What does that mean? Okay. So she's got Ice Magic and Time Magic. Okay. I do like her her crowd grouping with this. That seems very nice. So if anything, I think I'm going to take that. Also, it gives increased stagger. That's very nice. Um, and let's make sure that's equipped. Supplies weakened, detonate sundered. We'll remove this. I don't know if we have anyone that applies sundered yet, so. Okay. My character. I don't know when I got that. Form needle. With an ingenious long pointed craft. Uh, long point crafted by Veil Jumper Smith. This epi epe strikes like a thunderclap. Don't have any head armor yet. I don't think. No. Map. Cool. Oh, they show like chess. Okay. Does it show ones that I missed? Or only ones I've opened? Oh, I didn't mean to back all the way out. Oh, why? Oh, just updated. Okay. I'll just... Okay, more than this. We'll read those. Okay. Let's uh, open some chests here. Uncommon Longbow Valara. Put that on her. And I think that's it, right? Let's get out of Unless I can jump up here. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Ready to go? Uh, let's go. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Okay, Veil Jumper Camp. Are, is this going to be like another little hub or just a section? Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of Veil Jumpers. Whatever's going on out there. It's scary. Jahel <laughs> Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nodis Durthalen. Wait, you found the Nardus Darthalon? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. Will it know exactly what's going on? The Dalish are the priority, though. We need to make sure people are okay. Archive's broken. Won't tell us anything. But that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. But given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. 
Well, it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. If we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetis Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetis Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetos Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. Yeah, I'll be taking Harding with me. I get to choose. Quest complete in Entropy's grasp. With the team's help, Valar disabled the artifact and freed them from the veil bubble. She also uncovered an ancient repository of elven knowledge, the Nadas, Nadas Dirthalin. While Balar intends to unlock its secrets, she has joined the team as they search for the escaped elven gods. Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. <laughs> 